Hi, I'm Hannah, um, and I'm going to be just leading you through a short little practice. Um, in my yoga practices, um, it's really all about honoring the body, listening to what it's asking for, uh, reconnecting the breath to my movements is the most important part of my yoga practice. Um, and so yeah, let's just begin. So begin seated in an easy pose, sitting bones ground down heavy into the mat. Hands resting on your knees or your thighs, eyes gently closed, shoulder blades retract back, shoulders down away from the ears, and just take note of the natural rhythm of your breath without altering it in any way, shape, or form. Just paying attention to the natural rhythm it's taking in this moment. Pay attention to the quality of your thoughts. Again, don't judge, criticize, try to change your thoughts. Just simply notice and be the awareness behind them. All right, gently open your eyes, drop your head to your chin. You know what I thought and do some nice shoulder like, rolls, well, bringing, <laughs> bringing well, one ear to one shoulder, that. exhale, coming back through center, and bringing it to the other direction. You can do this as fast or as slow as you would like. chin, roll over your knees, coming to a tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, fingers press firmly on the mat, top of your feet press firmly on the mat, your spine is neutral, gaze straight down on the mat, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, coming into cow, exhale, round through the spine, dropping chin to chest, into a cat. And two more. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, break open the heart. Exhale, round through the spine, bringing your navel towards the back. And one more with your own breath. Inhale, come back to neutral, tuck the toes, exhale, lift, just hovering the knees above the mat, just a few centimeters, and then inhale, send the hips all the way back, coming to a downward facing dog, fingertips spread wide, toes spread wide. Finding a slight bend in the elbows and the knees, dropping the full weight of your head down and back. Sitting bones, shooting up towards the ceiling. Your inner thighs roll out and wide. Your spine is long. Shoulders resting away from the ears. Take a few breaths here. You can do any organic movements that feel good. You can pedal out the feet, lift onto the ball rounds of your toes, shoot your heels towards one side and then the other. Do whatever you have to do before coming into stillness. Beautiful. And from here, ground down through the left foot, lifting the right leg high, hips still square towards the front of the room. Exhale, bring your knee up to your chest, placing the right foot down between your hands. Inhale, lift the torso and your arms high, coming to a high lunge, slightly tuck the tailbone. 
hips squared towards the front of the room, finding a nice bend in that right knee, making sure that it doesn't go over the ankle. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands to your heart, bring your left elbow on the outside of your right knee, coming to a prayer twist. Hands press firmly together, helping to deepen the twist. Inhale, exhale, stretch the arms out along, bringing your left hand down towards the mat and your right hand up towards the ceiling. Take one breath here. And on your next inhale, rise all the way up keeping your body facing towards the right side of the room. Inhale. Exhale, drop your right arm down towards your back calf, lifting the left hand high. And on your next inhale, bring that left, that right hand towards the front of the room, pivot on the back foot, coming to warrior two facing the left side of the room. All right, and here your hips are squared towards the left. Your right knee is pressing towards the right side of the room so you can see so that your big toe is visible. Your toes spread wide. The back pinky side. <laughs> inner arches of the heels lift, shoulders relax down, inhale, flip the palm up, exhale, bring your right hand all the way towards the back room, coming into reverse warrior, one breath, inhale, rise back up, warrior two, straight in that front knee, Shoot your right hand towards the front of the room and your left hip towards the back, preparing for triangle. Exhale, bring your right hand down towards the mat and your left arm high. Coming into a triangle pose. Shoulders stacked on top of one of another. Hand can be placed anywhere from the shin, on your mat, on a block or book if you have one. Neck is long. Inhale. Exhale, drop that left hand down towards the mat. Pivot on the back foot. Bring your right foot all the way back to meet the left, coming into a plank. Inhale. Come on to the tiptoes. Exhale, lower all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Heart breaks open, exhale, roll over through your toes, coming back towards a downward facing dog. Take one breath here. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ground down through the right heel. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, bring the knee all the way up towards your chest, dropping that left heel or left foot between your hands. Inhale, lift the torso and arms up high, coming to high lunge. Hips square towards the front of the room. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the chest and bring your right elbow on the outside of your left knee, coming into a prayer twist. On the opposite side now, wringing out the torso. Hands pressed together firmly, maintaining that bend in the front knee. Heel of your back foot is pressing towards the back room. Breathing deep into the stomach, your ribs, side body. And on your next inhale, stretch the arms out long. One breath and with extended arms. 
And on our next inhale, lift the torso back up, finding a nice twist towards the left side now. Inhale, exhale, drop the left hand down towards the back thigh or calf, reaching the right arm up and over your head. Inhale, exhale, pivot on the back foot, coming to warrior two, facing the right side, finding a nice strong bend in that front knee, hip square towards the side of the room. That usually means hinging up from the front hip just slightly. Pelvis is level, ears relax down, gaze out towards the front middle finger, inhale, exhale, inhale, flip the front palm, exhale, bring it all the way towards the back room, coming to reverse warrior, one breath, and our next inhale, rise back up, warrior two, Straighten through the front knee. Inhale, exhale, bring the left hand forward, right hip back, and then come all the way down, releasing that hand towards either your shin or the mat, lifting the right hand high, coming to triangle pose on the other side. Drawing the navel back into the spine Shoulders stacked, neck long, one more breath, inhale, exhale, drop the right hand down, pivot on the back foot, bring your left foot back to meet your right, coming to a plank, inhale, bring your shoulders over your wrists now exhale bend the elbows towards your side lowering down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale lift the gaze up towards your hands exhale step or jump your feet up come into a standing forward fold feet hip width apart or flesh together Release the full weight of your head down. Making sure not to hyperextend your knees here, finding a slight buoyancy in them. Inhale, bring your shins or your hands to your shins, finding a flat back. Spine and neck are long, gaze directly down. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands and gaze high up towards the sky. Exhale, hands come together, meeting at the heart. Slightly drop the chin. Coming into a mountain pose with hands close together to your heart. And take a moment to Feel your body, feel the energy flowing and moving. Give thanks to yourself. Give thanks to what your body can do. Honor it in the breath. Just honor yourself for showing up, for doing the, the yoga. Let me open your eyes. Namaste.